Hey there, my lovelies, and welcome to my booktube channel, The Sassy Library Box. My name is V, and today I'm going to talk about two things that give me joy. Um, I don't know if some of you noticed, but my hair was pretty bad those last couple of weeks, and my hair physically decided to jump right out of the window and make a holiday in Costa Rica. <laughs> so that's why I'm rocking the fresh from the grief look. <laughs> Ignore my face and just focus on the amazing things I'm going to talk about. <laughs> so without further ado, let's jump right into it. There are two things that always get me excited. Number one is books and number two is BTS. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it feel like I'm outing myself all over again? Anyway, I'm ARMY. I've been ever since 2018 and um, I think in November 2020 um, my friend Sabrina, <laughs> hey there Sabrina, I, who's the Yongi to my V, um, decided to create an original BTS ebook tag and I've been dying, quite literally dying, <laughs> to do this tag for ages but I never got to it and so I decided I'm going to jump into it and do it on booktube because this is the perfect opportunity for one to get it out into the world and well to actually talk about books and BTS in one go. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of perfect actually. Um, so before I actually go for the tag, I want to say thank you to Sabrina and I want to talk a little bit about BTS because as we all know the Grammys happened <laughs> and unfortunately they didn't take that Grammy home with them but I just wanted to use the opportunity to say that they are still amazing. And just by the off chance BTS will ever watch this video from an Austrian girl that's a huge fan, you did great on that stage, you did amazing, you didn't just perform dynamite, you were dynamite on that stage. And I know how hard you work as a former dancer, I know how many hours go into those performances and the things you do how you interact with your fans, how you always take care of ARMY <laughs> and uh, I don't know, ARMY just wants to give you something back. So I think I'm speaking for every ARMY out there when I say keep on fighting and I'm sure one day you'll take that Grammy with you. I'm convinced. <laughs> so BTS fighting. <laughs> And, um, well, that's the message from me. So, this said, let's jump right into the fun and do that tag from Sabrina. I'll make sure to write it down in my description of the video so that you can find it. And if you want, you can also do it. I mean, please do it. <laughs> it's a great tag. So the first thing or the first prompt of this tag is Life Goes On, a book to remember 2020 by. And I think for me that's an exaltation of Lux. I know you probably never even heard of this book, but Sven Bakher wrote it. I hope I pronounced it right. <laughs> And for me, it's basically the embodiment of 2020. I didn't just read it in 2020, but I also think it represents all the feelings I had in 2020, the social distancing um, and not being able to interact with my family and to read this book. I mean, this book is basically about life, about friendship, about relationships between people. It's, it's an amazing book and it's actually book one in a series. I read book two too, The Charm of Finches. And no one, literally no one captures life as relatable, as, I don't know, great as Swan does. She's really a great writer and I can really totally recommend this book. So if you want to read a book 
with relatable characters, with friendships, with, I don't know, a book that embodies life in all its glory and with its downsides. Read this. Read this. It's amazing. The second prompt is Fly to Maru, a book with a new perspective. I think I'll go with David Leviathan <laughs> every day because it's quite literally about a character named A that changes body each and every day. Every day A wakes up in another body and it was really an interesting book because you see so many different perspectives. One day he wakes up in a teenager girl that has a strained relationship with her parents. The next day he wakes up in the body of an addict and goes through withdrawal symptoms. The next day he wakes up or she wakes up. I think A is mostly described as they because A is neither male nor female. And you see all those different lives, all those different experiences A makes and how it is to live in another person's body and to live their life. So that's definitely the embodiment of a book with a new perspective, at least for me it is. The next prompt is Blue and Grey, a book with mental health topics. And just to talk a little bit about the song Blue and Grey, I love this song. It describes feelings so perfectly and I can't believe Kay wrote it, <laughs> or well I can because he's an amazing writer, but the feelings he conveys, the feelings they all convey, is just amazing. It's one of my favorite songs of the album, so there's that. And as a prompt, or as the book I choose for this, is um, Alice Ozanon's I Was Born For This, because it's just perfect for this prompt. I mean, it's a book about a band and their fans and um, how fandom works, how bands actually work and <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just perfect for this prompt because it actually gets the K-pop fandom to a T. It's, it's perfect. It's like, I don't know, is Alice Oseman a fan? of K-pop because she nailed it. <laughs> she literally nailed the fandom and the bands and their interactions and it's just a great book and if you love music, if you love K-pop or any sort or I don't know if you're a fan of any sort of band, you'll love this. It's a great book and it's an amazing story. All of the mental health representation is about social anxiety and I think a little bit of depression so it definitely fits the bill. The fourth book is Kit, <laughs> a book with great banter or made you laugh. So the first book that comes to mind is actually Six of Crows because the banter in Six of Crows is superior. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I rarely read a book that had such amazing banter between the six MCs. So this is truly as good as it will ever get when it comes to banter. So yes, Six of Crows is definitely my answer for Skit. The fifth is Telepathy, a book with strong family bonds. And I know that might be a rather unconventional choice, <laughs> but I read this book a while ago and it still stayed with me. It's Sadie from Courtney Summers. And I don't know if you ever read Sadie, you know how close she was to her sister and what she did for her sister. It's amazing. It's, it's a bond between siblings like no other I've ever read about. Sadie goes to such length for her sister Maddie and I'm still, <laughs> I'm still getting shivers when I think about this book. It's a book that will haunt me for the rest of my life. So if you haven't read it yet, I totally recommend it. It's 
pretty it's a pretty tough book though so be careful when you pick it up read the trigger warnings <laughs> and uh, don't jump into it unprepared because it's quite a heavy book indeed so yes the sixth prompt is disease a comfort read and <laughs> When it comes to comfort reads, I'll always mention the series The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater because I love this series, as some of you already know, at least the ones that follow me on Goodreads and always see my Saturday update. <laughs> um, it's just a really, really great series. It has all the things I love to read about. It has found family, it has strong friendships, it has the supernatural kind of thing, magic and a magical place, Capes Water. And I just love the characters. The characters are so well thought out and it's definitely a character driven series. But if that's your jam, you can't go wrong with this. So The Raven Cycle, if you haven't read it yet, please give it a try. It's amazing and it's an awesome book. Stay, a book filled with yearning. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. That might be another rather unconventional choice, but I think I go with the hearts and wishes of the fairies here because the life story of Cyril and his trials and his yearning for his best friend are quite something. I mean, the entire book is basically running on that yearning he has for his best friend. He lives in a time in Ireland where you actually could go into jail if you were a man and loved another man. So the yearning is real, my friends. <laughs> and it's just a great book. I mean, it's a standalone, but for a standalone, it was really amazing. The characters grew on me and I really wanted to know how it ends and yes it's a tearjerker i actually cried a couple of times reading this book so the yearning is real and the last prompt dynamite <laughs> one of my favorite bts songs ever i keep on dancing to it i can't stop dancing when I hear this song, okay, it's it's just a, it's such a catchy tune, you know, and a book with a retro cover. Well, the first thing I can think of when I think of a retro cover <laughs> is the Farsia trilogy from Robin Hood, because the covers of this trilogy I really had to laugh when I saw them. They are so 90s style, really, really 90s style. It's, it's so funny. <laughs> I, I really like the covers because they, they, I don't know, they are the super embodiment of the 90s. <laughs> if you saw or if you see those old covers, look at them and enjoy them because covers like that are so rare these days. <laughs> so yes. Definitely the Farsia Trilogy from Robin Hood. This said, I'm already done with my BTS B book tag. I hope you had fun watching it. I hope you discovered a couple of new books you might want to look into or to read. And I wish you a lovely day. I hope you're still healthy and safe and please take care in the sense of K-pop and BTS. I'm giving you finger hearts. <laughs> so this was a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed the tag and that you'll come to see the next one. So what's more to say then? Bye! <laughs>